Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Some a little bit of garbage and debris. That section yet. Yeah. So, That's I wild. mean, there's... The clothing... Yeah, but this is... This was expired five years ago. So obviously, she doesn't need expired food. Day three in a White House job, in the hoarding job. Today we're going to work on getting the rest of the stuff out of the two bedrooms downstairs. Uh, primarily clothes, uh, some a little bit of garbage and debris. We're going to be bagging a bunch of clothes up that we can give away to charity. Uh, then we're going to start up in the bonus room in the other two bedrooms that are upstairs. Most of the upstairs is filled with fabric. Uh, the lady who owns a home uh, spent most of her time in retirement from the Air Force building and making quilts for the military. So we're going to start ba boxing up her quilting material so that she can then continue what she would like to do in her future endeavors where she lives. So what are you doing right now? Um, right now I am organizing books and paper, hopefully in this corner over here. Um, stacks of books on one side, stacks of papers on the other. Hopefully, it'll work. Um, after that, probably trash, and hopefully it'll look at least a little bit better. Uh, but so clothing, jewelry. Yep. Yeah. Now magazines. the little bit of magazines that you have with some papers mm -hmm. of that nature, when it comes to that kind of stuff, keep in a pile. We'll throw away afterwards. Um, she gave me a good brief rundown of what she wants to keep, what she wants to donate, and what she wants to throw away. And a lot of this stuff is really old, so this protein powder expired in 2014. So most of the food in here in the cabinets hasn't been seen or touched in years, so most of it's bad. But the non-perishable foods we'll be donating, and she has a couple spices that she wants to keep, but for the most part, everything wants to get donated or thrown away. Right. Um, we're going to also bag up all these dishes that she wants to keep and bag, box them up and put them separate for her and we'll get this whole kitchen cleared out and then we'll move on. Uh, I think most of the bags over here are like clothes and stuff that she had on the table that was previously there. Oh, okay. um, this is just some of the loose stuff that's on top of it, like rugs and stuff were from in the living room. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm gonna start. Without her being here, the only thing I can really do at this point is just bag up all the trash that I see, like obvious trash, empty soda bottles, um, food, leftovers, and a lot of this stuff is really personal to her, so we can't really touch anything without her being here and kind of delegating what she wants to keep and what she wants to throw away. And it would be a lot easier on us with boxes to kind of put all the folded quilts and cloth into so we could start clearing this room out, but so at this point, there's not much I can really do without her being here. But I'm gonna do what I can. Are these all the quilts? All the, in all these boxes? Maybe? Cloths. Cloths. And anything sentimental, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Anything she might want to keep. Where are you guys sewing it for now? Uh, in the garage for now. But I keep it in line so for when she moves, she can have a easier move and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Try to help her out with the process of moving a little bit because you know it can be a lot so might as well do what we can while we're here, right? Right on, yeah. Yes sir. Well, we're just trying to get it organized to a point where it's gonna be easier for her to go through that, those clothes. So kind of trying to put all the stuff that she wants to keep back up here so we have the space open mm -hmm. and so we can get this moved out because uh, we've got a buyer for it. Okay. And then um, just trying to make it a little more organizing, like with like, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. And uh, because we can't really do much until she comes back and we can go through all the stuff because she doesn't know what she wants to keep or, or throw out or sell or donate or whatever. 
So just kind of in a holding pan pattern right now until she comes back, really. No, oh, right, it's crazy. I mean, there's two people up here, you know, all day. You know what I'm saying? And just, it's crazy. Yeah. It's nuts. Yeah. It's just a whole bunch of fabric. Like, from top to bottom. Everything from sewing, making sweatshirts, blankets, pillows, you name it, it's in here. Like, I feel like you're advertising right now. <laughs> you're advertising the I mean, I mean, for people out there that think, like, oh, it, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, we went and picked up, like, 40 to 50 boxes, and um, we already went through, like, 10. I mean, and we're not even to that section yet. Yeah, so, I mean, wild. there's a lot of, uh, a lot more into it than what you actually, actually see. There's a lot more, uh, a lot more stuff than she actually knew she had. Yeah. I've got a little path over here. I've got magazines and books and stuff organized. And I've got little baskets of stuff going. Okay. Little area at a time. How's this compared to the uh, the other room, the bedroom? Um, I, honestly, I don't think it's as bad. It's just smaller. Okay. Still, everything's all on top of each other. The only thing more difficult about this room than the other room is that it's on top of each other. The other room wasn't really cluttered like that. So what we're doing right now is we're just pretty much getting all these boxes that are stacked over here miscellaneously and we're putting them, making pretty much more space so all the furniture that's out there for the yard sale can come into here safely uh -huh. and stuff that is leaving we're going to be taking out putting into a truck to deliver that makes sense. Sorry, it's not my blood. We are uh, now getting ready to deliver yard sale items that we have sold for the lady because Spalding Decon handles yard sales as well. So this is what it says, Spalding Decon does so much. We do so much. Uh, we do anything we can to try to help them advance their life through these challenging times. Yeah, have a slide with some time right now. her approval on what can stay and what can go. So I don't think that we'll be using much of the shovel. We'll have to kind of hand pick through everything and slow and methodical process. Uh, so today we've successfully made some more room in the garage so that we could bring the stuff that we have for the yard sale in there uh, We're expecting rain almost all day tomorrow, so it's going to put a hamper on our yard sale ability We have started putting their fabric from the fabric room down here and marking the boxes over here So that she has for transport when she moves to the new home uh, tomorrow, we're going to focus specifically on personal clothes uh, the bed that's covered in clothes and then the general bathroom and laundry room area will probably be stuck inside for most of tomorrow so we try to really get up on making sure outside stuff will get done today so that we don't have to be soaked and wet tomorrow so we'll see you tomorrow yep. day four guys we're back out in White House uh, starting the hoard this morning we got a bit of rain today so it's gonna slow us down just a little bit uh, the rest of today, we're going to go ahead and start boxing up all of the rest of the stuff in the kitchen and the living room. Go ahead and box it up, bring it out into her garage so that she can sort through it at a later date. 
and then continuing the large fabric room of putting all that stuff away so she can keep on that. Yep. So check back in with us later. Right. Plan right now, um, it doesn't look organized, but it for the most part is. Uh, this is the only section that we have to go through and look at everything and put it in its organized sections. Um, no TV plan yet, but that everything goes, else is over there. That goes off to the cell, right? Oh, yeah. got a blue yeah, sticker yeah. Out of it. Oh, I don't know. She had her sale yesterday, but it's supposed to rain all day today. Right, so. but um, yeah, she, Liz said anything with blue stickers. So the TV and that chair. Oh, okay. And then right. run to the zone stuff. True. Yeah. Look at these old pictures. She's got a raggedy handle. Oh, they got a pile down here. Oh. I see. Yeah. I can't really do much until she's back. Like, like it has been last couple days, but try to make um the clothing thing all it's centralized in the one room so that way we can come in here and clean this clean it out and get the stuff out that we need it's getting about to a part where we have to wait for her to get back so we can ask her exactly what goes and what doesn't go but she's got it she's got it all I've never even heard of some blocks okay Humidity and sweat, wet skin. Still just boxing things up. But like as far as furniture. Bring them back downstairs and then once we get everything boxed up, we'll go back through and just get all the trash. But same thing. Rinse and repeat. Now? Okay. Good, Unboxing fabric and putting fabric into different boxes for transport. We have a considerable amount of fabric that we still have that we already have backed up, back, boxed up, and now we're continually going and getting the rest of the stuff boxed up so that we can put it from one place to another so it's out of the way. The boxes are going to be easier for her to transport her supplies and fabric wherever she's moving to. Right. Got it? Same old, same old, it seems. Yep. All the same. More and more and more and more of the same. These things were packed on here perfectly. Mm -hmm. Tight and unbelievable. Never seen something like that. Yeah. And she's still got a little piece of fabric in there. <laughs> it's even, it's got a handle. So are you guys just picking up the trash from this area? We're kind of just sorting sort it. Just sort through, finding out what's actually here, seeing what we are keeping and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, seeing if there's usable items, there's some mixture of uh, trash and usable items. So. She also has to keep uh, uh, empty jewelry boxes. FYI. This doesn't fit my brother anymore, but I still feel that way towards him. My weather alert radio keeps. So what are you two uh, about to put in the boxes right now? Um, Just like any little right little now, box. probably little knickknacks, boxes. This shelf. Yeah. Bits and pieces. The ledge, uh, little like miscellaneous things. You want to keep this box, don't you? Yes. Okay. Yes. I think she's, that, she's made that, that shelf a cute shelf. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if you can see that, but this is, uh, this was expired five years ago. So obviously, mm -hmm. she doesn't need expired food. Yeah. She's going to make herself sick. But all we're doing now with this is taking out the expired stuff, leaving the non-expired stuff in there. And 
organizing it a little bit for us. Because the paper should be big enough to where you could stuff it inside, or wrap it around and then stuff it on the inside. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. We're just gonna pack all her dishes and stuff, all her china and her dishes. And pretty much pack the whole kitchen up with the books and everything that's in the cabinet still and on the counters and kind of get it to a point where she'd be able to move easily. Not uh, move as in move for things whenever it comes time. I think at home it's box number 136. <laughs> what did I just write? Ditches, because that was... Ditches? Dishes and kitchen. Ditches, and ditches and ditches. So it's ditches. Ditches. Good. Wow. How many did you? How many did you get so far? Another hundred to another total. Now. Total. Yeah. No, uh, no, like total together. So let's make the Well, that'll be 136. So. So this was this was all on that side. That was on that side. Yep. Wow. This was empty. I don't know if you got these. This was all more. Oh, you got you got the side already? Yeah, yeah, oh, that side's okay. done. Wow. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't see this side. Look at that. It's amazing how clean the carpet is on this side. See these closets. So is this bag trash? Yeah, that's all trash. This is cleaning supplies and shoes that is out the, the boxes like outdoor stuff like tools and that jazz and then that's stuff for her plants and then I've got a little crafty box up here okay. that's about all I'm at right now We'll it looks like she ever used it. Stuff up individually. We are experts in hoarding, mold, biohazard, and moving. No, apparently. Packing. This is a moving specialist. This is not, but I'm acting as one today. Okay. Take you know, until you make it. You yeah. may as many hats. Yeah. Day four wrap up today, guys. Uh, we have successfully gotten all the fabric in the house put in boxes. Uh, we started stacking it in the garage. We uh, currently are running out of room in the garage being able to stack it up. So tomorrow we're going to have to rearrange that. Uh, we obviously had a complete uh, closed in the house day because of the rain. So we were able to accomplish quite a bit. Uh, there is still quite a bit of stuff that still needs to be packed up. Some of it in this room and some of the other areas of the house. Uh, we look to uh, rearrange the garage tomorrow and start putting things to where we can actually stack everything out of our way to keep going. Uh, we are probably going to run out of room at some point regardless, whatever happens, because we're accumulating and keeping too much. So look for us tomorrow and we'll talk to you again then. Thanks. Day five, guys, uh, out in White House, uh, still working on the hoard. Uh, today we are going to work on getting some tarps so we can actually continue to do the yard sale because of the rain. It kind of made all the ground soft, which is the reason we got stuck. Uh, we're going to go and get some tarps for the homeowner and start putting her items out for the yard sale. Once we're done with that, we're going to continue to keep packing stuff out of the kitchen, living room, uh, the laundry room, as well as some other personal items and start packing more into her garage, which as you can see over here, You've got a ton of different items over here that uh, are going to be fabric as well as personal items. So we are going to focus on getting all the things we can packed up today and out of the house so we can get to the next last step, which is our general clean. So look forward to seeing us next time. Thanks, guys. So right now I am working with Miss Paula to um, go ahead and get the clothing, the fabric and stuff situated, sorted, figure out which ones to keep, donate, throw away. Uh, and that's the biggest hurdle there right now because I pretty much cleaned the rest 
out of it. Most of that room is fabric and stuff. Yeah, that's all. You got all the trash and all the like little little tools and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So there's still stuff in the cabinets, but um, our main concern right now is getting the bulk of that fabric and clothing and stuff out. Yeah. At least for me to get an idea of where her headspace is at, so that I can do the rest of it for her. Okay. Help out a little bit. Right on. Yeah. Expired in 2011. So uh, how's it going so far? Uh, it's going. Yeah. It's getting some kitchen finished up. Throwing out some super really expired food products. Like 2013. I'm gonna try to work this way and so I can pack boxes there because it's really no place. Let's see how that works. starting the uh, deep clean process? Uh, just a general clean. Yeah. yeah, just the general. How bad is it in this uh, room? Is it, is it... It's... N carpet's the worst, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen one clean carpet yet. and moving stuff as if we're a moving company. It's part of the fun and joy of having to get these properties properly set so we can be done. And of course, all this old stuff doesn't ever like to come apart. I'm getting most of the stuff off the countertop. Everything underneath and in the drawers have been taken care of. So. About to wrap it up and then uh, start moving stuff around in the garage to the yard sale so that we can start moving these boxes in there. Um, that's the plan anyway. It could change, who knows, as far as what, whatever works best for us and for uh, Paula. So. so this is, I do believe that this is keep, those two are trash. She's got two keep bags in here and one donate bag, and she's actually gotten through a lot of the mountain in here. Move this so you can go. She's gotten the bulk of the mountain off the top. Okay, one, two, one. Yep, yeah, took out the old toilet. I'm gonna go ahead and put a new one on. She has a new one outside. Uh, she had gotten a proposal to replace the toilets and they were quite atrocious but that's to be expected out in the middle of nowhere like this trying to get a plumber out here to do work so uh, just kind of compromised and felt sorry to uh, kind of help her really quick it's also a benefit for us we really don't have another bathroom so yeah. <laughs> while we're finishing up it'd be nice to actually have a working toilet yeah that would be awesome so Almost done with it. As you can see, it this uh, has probably never been replaced uh, since the house was built in the late 90s. It's the old wax ring that's on here. So, gotta remove that. We'll put a new one on. Um, it's quite disgusting. Was uh, how bad was it? I've seen worse. I saw a bathtub full of crap, crap one time. Okay. <laughs> that was the worst. No, potentially, I'm, I think I might be able to. I might be able to rig it to be able to do it. I'm just trying to. I'm gonna have to take it all apart again and find out where the crack is. Um, so definitely somebody at some point in time had really knocked into this toilet hard enough that it, there's a plastic ring that gets bolted down to the floor. 
okay? That plastic ring allows you to put bolts so that you can fasten it to the floor. At some point in time, somebody got knocked into this as hard as possible hmm. with a large amount of force or fell on the toilet, one of the two things, and it's cracked that ring. Um, and I think she'll be all right. Right now, we're still doing a little bit of general cleaning, finishing up, packing up little things, um, like cookbooks, stuff that's in drawers. Um, we don't really have much else, much else to do. They're about to start moving boxes from in here out into the garage. Um, and then we're gonna, I guess, Carrie's scrubbing the counters pretty good. Loose stuff, just packing it up, trying to get it up off the floor so we can clean and um, make it look a little better. At this point, I don't, I don't think she's going through anything anymore. We're just packing it up and she plans on going through it later. So, I mean, I guess it's a little less time consuming. So. <laughs> Something wrong with James. Sorry, I apologize on his behalf. He's not right in the head. <clears throat> yeah, just little stuff. It's been a good day all day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The drive to work, great day. I'm saying people have a lot of energy. It's a great day. Great Love day. it. Yeah. Officially shut off in just a second. And uh, toilet and tank has uh, been replaced. Don't have any water on the ground, so there's no leakage from underneath. We've already flushed it three times. Pretty quick when it has a leak. And just waiting for it to fill up. A couple more seconds. Almost there. And we should be off in three, two, one, too high. Hi guys, day five, uh, finishing up for the night. It's Friday, so we've been here a total of five days. Uh, I'm gonna show you what we've actually accomplished today and uh, go walk room from room so you can kind of go back and see what we've actually already gone through. So let's go walk in the house and see what we got. We still have quite a bit of stuff that's up on the porch still that we're still kind of working through. A lot of that feels uh, secondary, trying to figure out what's gonna be happening with it. So we still have a little bit of work through. Uh, as you walk in, we still do have a little bit of debris and stuff in front of the door. A lot of this was uh, not necessarily big trains of thought of what we needed to do because there's so much more that we needed to accomplish. So let's go ahead and walk in through the living room. In the living room, we've accomplished quite a bit. We've taken out pretty much everything that's in here. Anything that's actually a lot that's st stayed in here now is personal items that she's actually going to keep. So we're just going to leave this here and let her kind of go through it. Uh, over the next 24 hours, we'll find out if it's something she wants to throw away. The dumpsters will still be here, so she'll be able to do that. But we did remove pretty much everything out of this whole area. Dining room, we still have some other things that we're going to be working out. A lot of that is just the uh, taking out of the kitchen area, as you can see, going through here in the kitchen. Uh, the cleaning ladies have done such an amazing job of, of bringing this kitchen back to an uh, almost pristine look. They still have some work on the floor. We still have some stuff on this countertop that's going to go through. We're still kind of in process of having it happen. Uh, we just run out of time again today on Friday. Uh, we're looking at approximately about uh, okay. almost five o'clock well, already. So we've uh, put another eight hours in at this house. Come on down here. We're going to go in through here. And uh, we have uh, in here, we have the new uh, proud new toilet that we had installed for the owner so that she can actually have a, a working toilet in the house. Uh, we have the rest of this area to work out and clean out. The master bedroom, which was uh, about five and a half feet of clothes up on top of the bed, has obviously shrunk down dramatically. In fact, everything that's actually on this bed right now, we actually put on there within the last 12 hours. We accomplished all of the clothes off of the bed and got them put away or sorted or brought over to AMVETS for a donation. The rest of this stuff is, was in different parts of the house that we went through. So let's go back upstairs and I'll show you what we got up here. Back through here, obviously, the sunroom. These are personal antique items that she's going to be keeping. She's not going to have any, you know, any need to remove them. 
up here we still got to work on cleaning off the stairs we will probably do some carpet cleaning up in here at some point uh, hasn't been discussed at this point because we were more concerned about cleaning out the hoard uh, we do have a an amazingly clean bathroom as you guys can look inside of here cleaning crew did an awesome job of cleaning this out so as we walk into this room you can go ahead and see and look inside of here and see how clean it is the next bathroom next room we have is this little bonus room everything that's actually staying in here are these personal items that she's actually going to be keeping we have accomplished to clean out the whole entire room as well as clean the whole room we now go into what was considered the linen room or sewing room uh, guys there's nothing here this is completely empty now this is where the 80 something boxes of fabric came from primarily out of this room and as a little bit in that living room that stuff now is down in the garage which we'll show you before we actually walk out of the house both the closets on the on the left and the closet on the right are completely empty we do we still have some magazines over on the door on the walls over here uh, that's going to be staying there until she gets some time to go through and actually throw out what she does or doesn't want. These mattresses are also going to be thrown out. Let's go on down here and I'll show you where we've been storing all this stuff. Oh, there was also a bedroom over there too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's go. Thank you, Martin. In here was what uh, considered her master bedroom or the red room. Uh, we have accomplished of cleaning completely out this whole entire bedroom. We got the bed out of here. We do have to vacuum. The reason that it's not vacuumed in this spot because we actually had a bed here up until about 10 minutes ago. This whole room has been completely clean. These are all of her own personal items that she will have take with her. She has also uh, completely cleaned out closets. So as you can see, there is nearly next to nothing in these rooms anymore. We have accomplished what we were wanting to do. Going down the hallway, it's down the hallway brings us up in the laundry room. We were back near the laundry room when we were crossing the other bathroom. We have yet to actually finish this out yet. We're still kind of working on getting the rest of this out. Uh, she did an amazing job today of going through this, so we just have a little bit more for her to accomplish, and then we'll be done with that. So as you come in through here, Martin, I'll go ahead and have her go out here in the garage. I'll show you where we've been putting all this stuff. So out in the garage is where we've been actually boxing stuff up putting all of the personal items that she wanted to keep. Uh, majority of what's on this section here is fabric. Majority of stuff that's over here is some magazines and some books, and then the stuff from her for actual in her kitchen. So we still have a little bit more stuff that needs to be boxed up and brought out here. Uh, but as it stands right now, we look to have a little bit more to actually have to accomplish over the next 24 to 36 hours. But as it is, why don't you come back and check with us because we might have some more to actually have you see before we're done. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations. That's it, guys. On to the next.